All right, everyone, welcome back. Season nine of the micro vlogcast. We all just adjusted in our seats uh, because we're excited to talk about our holistic approach to sustainability and energy by way of a fun customer success story. We have a, a large uh, automotive supplier global company that uh, we do work for. And um, Mike is going to tell us a little story around how uh, we were able to drive some additional value by being very close to the work and having a strategic approach at the same time. Yeah, so this is a tier one automotive manufacturer. They're private equity owned. And the PE firm was basically saying, you guys have to do a materiality study. And so they're like, okay, well, we should probably do that. Oh, and by the way, the big OEMs, so GM, Ford, BMW, et cetera, are also pushing them not necessarily on materiality, which is the strategy side, but down into like, how can you report your greenhouse gas emissions? So they're coming to us saying like, we haven't started our journey. It's the per the person at the organization. She's brand new to sustainability. And it was the first sustainability titled person at the organization. And so we're going to him saying, well, we can do these in parallel and we probably should. So you should work with your PE firm and let's figure out what is material to your stakeholders, which is a materiality assessment. And that's very strategic. There's no execution on that. That's more just going to stakeholders, asking them what they care about, what's valuable. So that's your employees, the OEMs, the PE firm, community, et cetera, ask all that. While we were doing that in parallel, we were also very familiar with what the big OEMs have been starting to ask of their tier one clients. And we said, hey, a big piece of that is being able to report metrics, greenhouse gas emissions, um, having policies around some of this other stuff. And so we got to work on that in parallel, which is like, hey, we need to find all this data and, and pick a repeatable process for collecting it and then we need to centralize it and be able to report out on your greenhouse gas emissions. So in parallel, we're doing both things. And the beauty is the is the materiality wrapped up. Obviously, a major component of the materiality was transparency and being able to report a lot of these metrics to the OEMs. And the beauty is we already hit the ground running. And so uh, too often we find organizations and, and consultancies will either offer strategy support or implementation support. And it can really pay if you have both because then you're not waiting on one or the other and you don't have to have two different firms trying to talk and coordinate. Instead, we just basically came to them and said, hey, we'll help you on the strategy side and we'll help you on the implementation side of doing it. And, and I think that the thing that's nuanced, it, um, but what gets lost in this is a lot of times being close to the data actually uncovers opportunities that will impact how you think about your strategy. Oh, yeah. You know, materiality a lot of times is interviewing people and you get like their opinions on things and that kind of a stuff. Uh, but to build a real strategy, you'd like it to be informed by data, um, you know, and but you can't have just a purely like data driven strategy. There are humans that are impacted by these things as well. Right. And so really uh, having insights to your point at the same time around both of these things drives, I think, the most optimal uh, set of actions moving forward when you, and, and it mitigates sort of the down the road, oh, we didn't, we didn't think of that one thing, or we didn't know about that one thing. So I only had foresight to ask the right questions at the right time. We, it's good to have foresight. <laughs> the dunes. Uh, anyways, thanks everybody for joining, uh, hearing a little bit about our holistic approach to sustainability. One that we recommend all of our customers or any company uh, for that matter, adopt uh, in a similar way. We'll see you next time.